Hello! Uh, today we are looking at the PETA PAZ1 engine I bought, uh, as it happens, on the way to the engine I bought, and while I was on the way to buy that, I ended up acquiring the Champion Lawnmower for nothing, and I sold it for more than I bought this engine for. Let's have a quick look. Here is the engine. Uh, when I bought it, I set it on a uh, MDF trolley, which is now bent right out of shape. I've built it a new trolley. There's quite a few things wrong with this engine, starting with uh, I needed to bleed the fuel system. It's not very difficult. So, let's have a uh, bleeding the fuel system is very easy. If you undo these until you get a little bit of fuel through, and then close it, and then bleed that, and then once you get fuel through with no air, it's clear, and then you do the same with this one. Although it takes, uh, you need to have it open some more. And then last but not least, if you want, you can crack that open. But the real problem is this engine has very, has zero compression. And we'll run across why that is in 30 in a, in a sec. Let's go and put you back on a tripod. Right, now, to show you how little compression it has, if I just, I could just turn the engine over. Oh, actually happens, so it has developed some compression now. Um, that is a decompressor, and that's it uncompressed, and that's it compressed. And what had gone wrong with this is that someone had put that down as far as it would go, so it was still decompressing in either position. So what we need to do is to set the decompressor. Just not compressing it a little bit. Put it over there. In order to do that, you need a 13 16th and a quarter inch, one a quarter inch Allen key. And what you need to do is to wind that out and then do it down until you can feel it making contact with the exhaust rocker and then undo it a quarter of a turn. Seems to contact something there. And a quarter of a turn. Hold oh, on, let's do that again. Now let's do the lock that up. That seems to hit. So that should have compression. And it has a bit. That should have no compression. Now something else that's wrong with that, we've got something hitting there. And the other thing that's wrong is the rocket gear is blown. But I can get it. So that's how you set the decompressor, and I can get it to smoke, but I need to rebuild the cylinder head again. So it smokes, but it doesn't fire. And the reason for that, in part, down to my next job and I'll have to redo this one again which is going to be rebuilding the rocker gear let's just, let's just go have a look right 
Right, on the rocker gear, there was a bush in there, but you can see I can move that around a huge amount, and indeed that one. So that's a massive amount of weather. That is on a bush, so I can push the bush out and make a new one. And the upshot is that these clearances are huge, far huge larger than they should be. So what we need to do, take the rocker gear off and make some bushes for there. And then also just take the cylinder head off, check those valves are ground in properly and check the state of the bore, which is what I will be doing next.